everyone, you filled out your organizer for your choice for the Harris Burdick Mysteries um, that you're going to be writing your narrative about. So I'm going to walk you through a student sample from last year just to kind of give you an idea how to take this and turn it into a full-on narrative. So on the left is the one that this student chose. It chose the house on Maple Street. Um, it was a perfect lift off. You see the house blasting off. They filled in the whole first page of the organizer. They have the sentence there. Then they've got the bottom filled out. They just listed their details and pulled it through. So now we're going to talk about how do I turn this into my organizer. So I'm going to open up the document. You see it on one side here that shows where you're going to be writing it. So there's the prompt again. So I can remember, I know I have to have a full story. I know I have to break it into paragraphs and do all of that. So I'm going to start off with the title. Easy enough. I can come right over here and copy and paste the title instead of having to re type the whole thing because I know I have to use the title that was given in the book. After I do that, I'm going to go down and start my story. So that there's a boy named Mark, his age. All right, so one cold day in February, Mark woke up to get ready for school. He's a sixth grader and has breakfast with his parents every morning. This morning, his parents were acting funny. Mark did not know why. Just so the ideas that my student has, right? I've taken these ideas that I'm highlighting right here, and I've already used them. I might even just throw a highlight color on stuff from my organizer that I've already used, so I know, okay, that's done. I've used that kind of like a checklist, right? So that's in there. All right, so now I need to add some things. So I might want to add some dialogue. Do I need to start a new paragraph? When I'm not sure, remember we've talked before about tip top, right? Every time you have a new time, place, topic, or person, you start a new paragraph. So if I'm going to have somebody speaking, I'm going to start a new paragraph. So maybe um, I'm going to have the mom say, Hurry up, Mark. We don't have a lot of time. Declared, Mom. Mark checked the clock and realized it is an hour earlier then they normally get ready. He says, why do we have to go early for some reason? I have quotes around what he says. I have, um, you know, identified who's talking because we've changed time or setting or people speaking, we're gonna go back and forth. So as we go back and forth, we're going to do things, right? Or so now, um, maybe, you know, don't talk back to your mother. Get your stuff and go. Yes, dad. So there's them acting funny, kicking them out. Maybe I wanna add more to this later, but I'm getting it in there. So then I'm going to have him leave for school and think about his parents. And I'm going to go through the whole checklist and I'm just going to type it out. But notice how I'm expanding and I'm adding details and I'm making it sound like a story. I'm not writing it as one big sentence, I'm not writing it as one big paragraph. If I'm not sure when to start a new paragraph. I just need to remember tip top and it will remind me to start a new paragraph if I'm changing the time. So like he's, you know, if it's the next day, two days later, 20 minutes from now, I would start a new paragraph. If I change the place, if they were in the bedroom and now they're outside, I need to start a new paragraph. If I change the topic, if they're focused on aliens and then they're focused on 
breakfast, I need to change the paragraph. If a different person's speaking, I so my paragraphs aren't always going to be big, long ones like in an expository writing, because in narrative writing, I can have nice, short paragraphs. So you want to have a complete story that follows the storyline and takes the details from your organizer and brings them over one at a time, adding to them, changing things if you need to, um, giving a lot more detail. I hope this gives you a good start and a good idea of what to do. I'm so excited to read your stories. Can't wait to see what you come up with.